one issue is that well, it's hard for me to demonstrate right now, but I don't know if you can see this, but it wobbles ever so slightly with the new Gen 2 forehand on a Gen 1 subby. However, I've solved that by cutting up a credit card and inserting it right in here. There's enough play where you can insert it in there. Um, it's technically only a temporary fix unless you were to use, say, an epoxy, uh, which I haven't done. Um, but I did put it in there and it did stop it from wobbling. And here it is with the credit card in place. I just cut it to fit. I didn't epoxy it in. It seems to stay in even after folding. Um, I have not shot this yet so I don't know the longevity as to how long it will stay in place without epoxy. But it shouldn't be too hard for you to epoxy in place. Just remember that these do come in two pieces so you'll just want to epoxy it to each piece that's all um, and that completely eliminated all uh, side to side wobble that this had and that's a better view of it on the generation 1 sub 2000 like I said it, it fits perfectly I don't know why Celtic was telling us it doesn't fit perfectly, but maybe one hand isn't telling the other hand the same thing. Who knows? Either way, uh, I can verify that it does fit, and I, of course, forgot to order the screws, so I had to source them myself. But if you call up Caltech and, and uh, you can order the screws with the uh, Gen 2 forehand, I'm sure at some point they'll have both on the website as well so you won't even have to call anyone all right well take care guys